So in this problem, we're told to determine a region whose area is equal to the given limit. Do not evaluate the limit. And we're told that the limit as n approaches infinity and of this. So let me try and explain this to you. So basically, this part right here, uh, our function, is going to be equal to f of a plus delta x times i times delta x. And so we can basically see um, here, so this is going to be our function. So basically, our function, we're going to plug in this multiply it by delta x, and it should give us this. So we're going to use this in order to determine um, which one it is. So let's just first look at this part right here. So this is going to be our delta x, because you can see that we have this whole thing multiplied by this, which is the same thing as this, this whole thing multiplied by delta x. So delta x is going to have to equal to pi over 9n. We calculate delta x by doing b minus a over n. So this is going to equal to pi over 9n. And so what's b and what's a? b and a are just um, the lowest number in our domain and the highest. So we aren't sure which one it is yet, but this can help us um, get rid of some of these. So b is going to be, um, in order for this to work, um, well, we can just try each of these and make sure they equal pi over 9n. So if we go ahead and do that, if we do, this one's going to be a and this one's going to be bb for all of them. So a and this is b. So if we do this one, we have 0, we have pi over 9 minus 0 over n is equal to, and then this will equal pi over 9n, so this one will work. Well, let's check the others. So what about this one? If we do 9 pi minus 0, is that going to be equal to pi over 9n? It will. So this one's automatically off the board. Let's look at this one. Let's do pi over 9 minus negative, so it's going to become plus, so pi over 9 divided by n, and that's not going to equal this, so this one's off the board too. You can just tell by looking at them. What about this one? Well, this one, if we do pi over 9 minus 0 over n, it's going to give us pi over 9n, so that one will work. What about the top one? Well, we already determined that this one doesn't work, and these have the same do domain, so this one's not going to work. So we're basically left with these two. So let's determine from these two which one's the actual answer. So let's look at this. So basically for this, we're going to have some function where we plug in, and we're going to plug in and get... Um, i times n over uh, i times pi over 9n and so this is what we're plugging in so basically a plus uh, delta x times i is going to have to equal to i over pi times 9 n and so if you look at a a is zero and so if a is zero right um we're just gonna have delta x and we already know what that is it's pi over 9 n equals i and so if we look at this one, it's just tan, and then we plug in this value. But this one, so this one, this one lines up. So this would line up for that one. But if we look at this one, it's, it would be pi over i, because we this is what we plug in for every single x value. So it would be this times the tangent of pi times i over 9n. And if we look at this, this isn't the same thing as that, right? Because we got this on the outside, but we'd be multiplying this whole thing by pi over 9n. So if if this was uh, our original, it would work. But since we're only plugging in um, this for x, it would make sense that it's just tan of x. And so the answer to this problem is just going to be the tangent of x. I'm sorry if the explanation wasn't that good. This is kind of difficult to explain, but hopefully you guys got it.